Good morning and welcome again to Line of Truth Ministries. My name is Willie Wolf. I'm 22 years old and I have been tremendously blessed in coming here. And before we start the day, I just want to share a short devotional thought that came to mind or that really impacted me early on last week. Pastor Matt, Matt Dooley, he was sharing an experience and a testimony he had while he was at Roan Mountain Camp Meeting. He said he sat down by the stream of water and he was just meditating. And the thought came to his mind, water only flows in the path of least resistance. But we can see in the Bible in several places that water is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. This really answered my question as to part of it. This really answered part of my question as to why we do not see more of the working of the Holy Spirit, more of the power of God in our personal, individual lives and also as a body. It is because we resist the Holy Spirit. We do not submit and yield as we ought. And so may the Lord bless you as you watch and may you be encouraged to also get up and go knock on someone's door or minister to someone. May God richly bless you and be with you. Good morning, Brother Malcolm. Good morning. It's breakfast time, and so what do we have? Lori made some beautiful pancakes, and I just loaded it with peanut butter and fruit and nuts. It's really good. Here we have it. We have the army of youth feeding up to fight the And middle-aged people. Oh. Yeah. Uh, youth and middle-aged uh, <laughs> men. <laughs> Sending out an email of our various blogs that we've done so far with the evangelism training program right here. We have uh, this email that I'm about to send out just day one through four, the blogs that we finished already and just encouraging people to watch them and send them out. Hopefully they'll be inspired to participate and, and do the same thing. Amen. Praise God. Uh, the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. The experience of, of meeting that lady in the parking lot, just some random, we could have just drove away and would have never mm. uh, been a blessing to her, but it was just such a blessing to, to witness to her and see the tears in her eyes as we were encouraging and praying for her and just the hope that it brought her and just the thought of we could have just walked right by and, and mm. never would have known but because we spoke to her offered her a book she opened up to us and it's, it's just impressed upon my mind that just thought this is great there's people all around us there's people all around us that we can minister to if, if our hearts and our eyes and our minds were open to just make an effort for somebody else. Praise God, that is so true. The most valuable thing I have learned in going door to door is simply overcoming my shyness and talking to strangers. 
this has been the biggest step. You just heard the testimony that Matt gave of meeting the woman in the parking lot. It was all because I just came up to her and started talking to her and then my sister started talking to her and gave her a book. That was how it started. A year ago, I would never have dared to talk to a stranger. But the experience I have gained in going door to door and the overcoming of the satanic shyness, which is what it is, has given me an experience that is going to be life-changing for the rest of my life here on Earth. And here we have it. Lunch is prepared. People are starting to eat. I wasn't here for prayer. But look at that. Just look at it. So much good food. I'm excited for the pumpkin here. For well, the pumpkin? But, okay. uh, yeah. Looks good. I love broccoli, actually. Really? Yes. Ah. I like romaine lettuce and a nice salad. And I find it interesting that you, you mentioned broccoli and lettuce. Only a person who has been transformed yes. can say that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes, indeed. Praise God. Praise God. How did it go today? Well, it went pretty well. Uh, well, we didn't get a lot of context, but we were able to just share a little bit of uh, what we we're about. Right, so, right. Got a few, few interests? A few interests, yeah. So tomorrow, hopefully, we can have uh, more more opportunity to get meet some people. Amen, amen. Praise God. How about you, Tina? It was such a blessing. I'm so thankful to be uh, going out with Jody. We we met this one lady, and she was, she was just, she asked us to come in and we had this wonderful conversation and oh wow um, so you got into her house yeah and she she was she teaches preschoolers so um and she, we asked her the first question she was like it's because the morals have gone down oh, wow. and she just really sees it in the students so i was like wow this is amazing so we're gonna be um lord willing we'll be studying with her on monday she's really oh, really god. interested in in the studies praise god yeah praise that was god. really good praise the lord you tired after a day of battle tomorrow? Brother, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> not <man>. at all. <laughs> Still ready to go. Oh, Still praise ready God. To go, man. God bless. I'm thankful for those that we were able to reach out there, sow seeds, and have decent conversations with. Um, I'm just thankful. And like I have told you guys in the van, you know, these things are all written in the books of records. Mm -hmm. Every door that we knock on, everyone who rejects us they're not rejecting us they're rejecting christ mm -hmm. so uh we're giving them the gospel invitation it's up to them to embrace it but we do what we can to help them to embrace it so praise god thankful for the opportunity no not tired but uh we'll be looking forward to getting some rest tonight yeah and then we went out and we had a couple good experiences at the door oh praise the lord yeah, we were able to pray with a couple people and you know find some interest so i don't know we'll see what the lord does i don't know if they were that keen on, on studying the Bible, but yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You had, some, had some good conversations and just met some people and were able to pray for them. So yeah, praise the Lord. He is trying to conceal or excuse the evil of his own heart. It was through sin that men gained the urge. All right, everyone. Well, there you have it. That is the day for today. Your success will not depend so much upon your knowledge and accomplishments as upon your ability to find your way to the heart. By being social and coming close to the people, you may turn the current of the thoughts more readily than by the most able discourse. So the best way to evangelize is by finding your way to the heart. 
when you find your way to the heart, they will be open to what you have to say. And so a lot of times, we only want to give them information intellectually, but we do not want to have a relationship with a person. You know, you know, the most successful evangelist is the one that cares about the person, not just what, not just what about, not just about what a person believes, but about the person himself. So until next time, may God bless you, and may you be encouraged to also get up and go talk to strangers, meet them where they're at, meet their needs, and plant the seed of truth that they may come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Be blessed.